Hello and welcome to Film Companion South. In this episode, we are going to be talking about Tyagarajan Kumaraja's super amazing, super deluxe. I'm going to begin by comparing it to Aranya Kandam because this is in a way a continuation of that film, of that universe even. But Aranya Kandam was filled with a lot of instant pleasures, you know. You saw it and there was a sensual rush when you watched it. Super Deluxe is a much more complex, much more ambitious and much more satisfying film in a way because it is a long, slow burn of a fuse that comes and explodes at the end with a big bang. and the effect at the end is sensational. I'm not exaggerating if I say I've never seen anything like it in Tamil cinema because it's a film that makes you want to look at it with a microscope uh, zooming in on the details as much as a telescope zooming out and seeing the bigger picture. I'm not going to tell you much about the story because this is more about the details and how these details build into the bigger picture but for the sake of knowing who's doing what in the movie, uh, the screenplay which is written by Tyagarajan Kumaraja along with Neelan K. Shekhar, Nalan Kumarasamy and Mishkin, it deals with three sets of couples mainly. The one couple is played by Fahad Fasil and Samantha Kineni, one couple is played by Ramya Krishnan and Mishkin and one couple is played by uh, Gayatri and uh, Vijay Setupati who has now transformed into Shilpa, a transgender. I could write an essay about the themes and motifs that sneak in and out of these three stories and actually four stories if you want to consider the teenage boys who are also part of the Ramya Krishnan story. But the thing is, despite all these patterns, there is the larger thing is that there is no pattern. The larger, the director is very deliberate. You could even consider him a dictatorial kind of director, I think, because everything is so specific. The props are so specific. The deeply saturated colors by Nirav K. Shah and P.S. Vinod, the cinematographers, it's just so specific. And yet, the overarching theme is that of chaos, randomness, and things happening not according to a larger divine plan. I know, I know I'm making this movie sound heavy, like a very major thesis or something like that but that's the last thing it is it's a very entertaining movie uh, but it's also a movie that you have to allow it to grow and I'm reminded of a line that the American critic Pauline Kael used while reviewing The Godfather Part 2 she said the movie expands inside you like a soft bullet I, I don't know if I'm remembering the words exactly this is that kind of movie it kind of it takes seed within you and slowly expands and expands and you just feel it growing inside you as you're absorbing the tons of details that are coming from screen and then finally it explodes the design of the film is what really makes it and this design is really profound. It takes the story, three couples, you know, the story could be treated like intimate domestic drama, right? But these, this becomes epic. You know, this is the epic treatment of events that usually do not get the epic treatment on screen. And these three domestic dramas, these three little couple stories become something almost infinite and you have to see the movie to find out why. So sure, some people are going to complain about the length, some people are going to complain about the fact whether this story thread was really necessary, whether that story thread is really necessary. But by the end, Everything is so tightly interlocked and it comes together beautifully. This is a unique film, a brave film. We see this bravery in the film's amorality. There is no higher moral power. We see this bravery in Yuvan Shankaraja's very minimalistic score. He's not imposing himself on the scenes. He's kind of serving them by underplay. We see this bravery in Samantha who does some of her best acting in a scene set in a warehouse and also gives the middle finger to the conventional wisdom about what a heroine is supposed to do on screen and what she's not supposed to do on screen. And finally, we see this bravery in the amazing Vijay Setupati. He just transforms into Shilpa with the tiniest gestures. You know, just look at him the way he adjusts the sari pallu or the way he 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 does all these other things. There's a spectacular scene set in a police station with this corrupt cop that I cannot begin to spoil because it shows just how brave an actor, a male actor in the Tamil film industry, which is all about macho heroism can be. I'm going with four stars for this film. The full reviews up on the Film Companion website. If you like this video, do subscribe to Film Companion South and see you soon at the movies.